on this episode today, we're going to discuss why the Eagles should not be in the top 10 in the power ranking. And the next thing is, are we thinking that with our two top receivers out, we're still in the top 10? Shouldn't that be a plus? Well, we got one person on the panel think that the Eagles fans should not hit that panic button so quickly. With that being said, you already know what to do. Cue the music. shouldn't and Philly who's who's I, I, who are underachieving that's, that's that's I mean I talk bad on the Cowboys all the time well not the Cowboys itself just more or less Dak because he sucks but I just feel as though that as the Eagles have Howie Roseman has given them damn near a Super Bowl they're just underachieving and that's not good for them because is 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 his neck on the line? Because this is oh. the NFL. I think a great man named Jerry Glanville said, "Not for long, if you keep playing like this." That's true. That's hey, true. hey, coach. Just to just to kind of hop on your point, I think it's uh, the Eagle. The Eagles got two problems that need to be addressed immediately, and it happens to be like the two highest positions on the field quarterback and, and head coach. It's almost like everything else is like, it, it went healthy, makes sense. And those two not making sense can ruin the whole team. Controversy is what I love about the Eagles. When they have controversies, it's not a good season. That may save Dallas is behind, to be honest. Go get him, Mamba. I, there's no disagreeing with them. I mean, whether... <laughs> You bring in Kellen Moore, who's got a, a decent pedigree at offensive calling. And then you have Nick Sirianni, who's trying to mess that up. I mean, those are his mess ups. Those aren't Kellen Moore's mess ups. Those are Nick Sirianni's mess ups. And the other thing is, too, I'm not ready to deem Howie Roseman the greatest thing since sliced bread. All right. He's hit it on some guys. He has. But when you take Jalen Rager over Justin Jefferson, that just tells me that you do not in any way, shape, or form know how to go out and critique guys and grade guys that you want to go after in the draft. I mean, Justin Jefferson is showing that he's a once-in-a-generation wide receiver, and the Eagles took Jalen Rager. I mean, come on. I mean, let's – like – to deem, I could go on and on and on, but, you know, here's what it is. They have got to prove themselves. Jalen Hurts has got to read a defense. Jalen Hurts has got to deliver the ball, period. He holds on to the ball way too long, way too long. And as a result, he's getting sacked six times a game right now on average. I mean, the Eagles are leading the NFL in turnover. I mean, it's it's crazy to me. I mean, I just don't I don't see it. And like Coach said, they're underperforming. There's a lot going on. It, there's controversy, 
And it doesn't help that WIP 610 is always talking crap on them too. So there you go. I subscribe. Let me ask, let me ask you, Rolly, real quick. Since we all we're getting we're getting there to the point. They're saying that the Eagles should not be in the top 10 ranking. Tell me why they should not. I don't really have a reason why they should not. Uh I mean with this roster that they that with their guys not being healthy, I mean, I don't want to give a full analysis on Philadelphia until you see guys like AJ Brown and Devontae Smith play four games. I mean, granted, it's still early on within the season. Of course, Jalen Hurst doesn't Jalen Hurst hasn't looked good since you know what I mean. He hasn't been consistent since he's uh, been named the starter. So, I mean, all the hoopla about Jalen Hurts, I mean, if you're a real Eagles fan, then you've been seeing this. And uh, Nick Sirianni, he's been gutsy since he's an IUP. So, I mean, that's just the kind of character guy Sirianni is. So, I mean, sometimes he makes decisions that you're like, all right, what the heck? And then sometimes you're like, oh, all right, okay. You know what I mean? Like, I like it. But overall, Philadelphia as a team, I mean, I don't see why they shouldn't be top 10. I can't name 10 teams in the NFL that have a better roster on paper. And with so many injuries, I mean, they're not, I mean, they're not, they're not as bad as what you guys are making them sound. <laughs> but on I mean, the contrary, my friend, four, they are. If, yeah, if, we, if we was playing Madden, you'd be right. Fan. If we was I'm playing Madden. Eagles fan. It's still early. Saquon Barkley saved them uh, two weeks in a row. I mean, Jalen Hurst has to get it going. They have a brand that new OC. Coming. It, you know what I mean? Like, it takes a couple. You know what I mean, it, things don't start clicking, you know what I mean, with a brand new OC. Don't they have a brand new DC as well, too? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So, I mean. I don't think the sky is falling in Philadelphia right now. I mean, it's still early. I think they, I think they should be a top ten team. I don't know who, what, where they at now. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't disagree with that at all. Yeah, they, they ain't better than <laughs> Seattle. Right. I can't, I can't disagree. I can't name eight, nine, ten teams better than Philadelphia right now. I and that's just can. a fact. Tampa Bay being one. Yeah, <laughs> Tampa, Tampa Bay well, being listen, one. Tampa Bay is Tampa Bay is at least I think four or three right now in the five range. So uh, Tampa Bay. I don't think Tampa Bay was called. I don't think Tampa I Bay think was Tampa even Bay set in the top the ten. NFL, and they could replace right the now. Eagles. Yeah. Huh? Tampa Bay was not called in the top ten. Which can be true. They weren't in the top what? ten. And they're know, better than the Eagles. like this episode you should sit back and see that what we think about what's going to happen after the bye week because all we have to do now is to be locked in